Hi, today I thought I would make for you very simple, something that um, my mother's made for us forever uh, when she was alive. Today is the third anniversary of her being gone, so I thought I'd make one of her dishes this morning. And it's uh, simply corned beef hash. Now she did it uh, traditionally, but I like to always step things up a bit and I'll use my special spice. I'll show you my ingredients. Got a nice big black skillet here. Got a sweet onion. Six to eight medium red skin potatoes. Corned beef. A little salt and pepper. And I step it up with my special spice. You don't have to use, you don't have to step it up at all. You could simply just use the ingredients I've shown. But if you like things kicked up a bit, you could use a little chili powder or a little chipotle or a little paprika or a little something else if you like. Oh, I'm going to dice the potatoes. And it's this. They're about uniform in size. I also like to use a little uh, olive oil, extra light in flavor. That's what I fry them up with. And the extra light keeps a breakfast or brunch kind of dish from, well, tasting like olive oil. It's just really light in flavor. It's been great. I did, uh, oh, more like eight potatoes here. Next, I'm going to chop up my sweet onion. Drizzle the oil in here. And sometimes I'll add just a little tiny tab of butter. The oil in here will keep the butter from burning. Turn my fire up on medium. Start stirring potatoes to get crispy and the onions to get soft. While that's cooking, I'm going to open up my can of corned beef. You check on it from time to time. You don't let it just sit. I'll run my spatula along the bottom to make sure all the little bits get picked up and don't burn. Are soft when I stick a fork in them. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. I'll give it one more quick stir. I'll sometimes scrape the bottom and I'll go inward just to make sure I have all those little crusties picked up. Add the corned beef. I add the corned beef before I add the spices. Break this up. Mix it in. I like to get the um, corned beef well incorporated so every time someone takes a bite, they got a little potato, a little bit of onion, a little bit of corned beef. Okay, so that's pretty good. See that? Okay. Now I'm going to add some spices a little pepper, a little salt, and my spice. Stir it up some more. And then taste. Remember I told you we had this little pot? Mm -hmm. You see this, kids? Yeah. With this little tiny pot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of real butter. Put the fire on medium. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil. I'm going to snip off some butter. See, it won't be much. Just be a little bit like that. See? Okay. Just a little tiny bit. And when this gets warm enough, Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of eggs in, put the top on. Then when we serve it up, beautifully round eggs on top of our corned beef hash. Mm. Okay, now how do you like your eggs? Over, over easy. easy, over easy? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what, how do y'all like your eggs? Over easy. Steamed. Actually, I'm kind of steaming them in this pan. It's, we'll let the yolk run down deep inside all the potatoes and stuff, and it's so good. Because I'll start it up kind of on high, and then I'll turn it down and put the lid on it so the eggs are, eggs are actually steamy. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just gave the kids a little bite. What'd you guys say? Delicious. Okay. I love it. 
Okay, I can see it burbling. You hear that crackle? Yeah. Look, see now that's a little too much. So it's popping too much. I'm gonna take it way down now. I'm gonna put the lid on it for a second. Actually, I did it too much, so I'm gonna take it off fire for a moment. Because I want that temperature just right. What happens if it's not this right? You could undercook or overcook the egg. Okay, it's not ready. I'm gonna crack two eggs. This one will be over easy. I just put them both in there. The over easy is whenever the yolk is you know, liquid, right? Exactly, okay. but there's a nice film on top. Yeah. I'm gonna take a peek. Every now and then I'm gonna take a peek. You see it's not ready yet. Yeah. Those eggs aren't quite ready. Okay, good. The eggs are perfect. Kind of the equivalent of an over easy. Look over here at the pot. We're going to, I got helpers today. We're going to just serve it up. I like to serve it in like a little, is that enough for you? Yeah. Too much? No, it's good. Good? Pick these out. Whoops. Put them on top like that. Dash of pepper? Yeah, yes please. Dash of pepper. Give our young man a fork. Thank you. And a little cilantro. Delicious. Tell us what you think. What do you think? Not good. You good? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Hot but good. <laughs> We're done.